morning, good morning, welcome, welcome back. Um, so yeah, we're back with series five, uh, which is absolutely great. Just so you, the last time we did um, a live at live, a live 10 at 10 was um, five months ago, which was actually, uh, yes, back in November. So, and that was me just really talking about what has been going on. So five months later, it's nice to actually turn around and actually share all the good news with you. So obviously we've got five events now happening back in Dorking Halls. They're starting in May. Um, and we are, our two day event is at Gildings Barn, which um, is on the 22nd and 23rd of June. And then back again um, for the, um, the 7th and 8th of December. Um, and that will involve, you know, the shopping, live music, workshops, etc. So really, really exciting. Um, in the last five months, um, hi everyone, loads of people on already. Um, we've also, um, our new directory that's launched. So we, we launch that every month with new people. I'm gonna change um, the imagery around and shout out about um, products. So Mother's Day we did and Easter and the, the next one is Easter. Um, we also did a great photo shoot back about a month ago with 25 businesses. So that will go into the Surrey magazine. Um, which will promote our wedding and celebration events. So something new as well, looking at our events very differently as well. Um, and also um, been chatting to lots and lots of new businesses. Really proud to say we've got 82 brand new businesses, which is fantastic with 26 of them being brand new um, for our May event, which is really great. So um, been really chatting to lots of people, sort of interviewing, getting to know them, getting to know us. Really, really important, getting to understand our ethos. So that's it really. And obviously just working on advertisement and whatever so here we go so i am going to um get um add uh catherine on so i know that i told her i'd be chatting away just a little bit so let me just add her and there we go let's try to remember how to do it there there we go she should be there and um Hi to everyone. It's really great to see so many people on this morning. Hello. And there we go. Hello. How are you? You all right? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. I was just doing a little blurb, just sort of a little catch up. Because last time, say it was five months ago, it was just a talking about all the things that were coming. And now the things have gone. And They're now happening, it's yeah. Fast forward. <laughs> They're happening. You look very lovely. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we saw Catherine, she we um, she was involved in the photo shoot we were about. So we took her right out of our comfort zone, but she was gorgeous. So um, we oh, will it was be really sharing fun. Photos. Yeah, we will be sharing those photos soon. I'm sure that you'll be um, yeah yeah be waiting to see them. You look absolutely great. So first of all, introduce um, yourself, uh, your business, and tell us what you make and sell. Yeah, so I'm Catherine, um, and my business is called Bamba Prints, um, and I mainly sell prints, cards, um, and notepads, um, and I mainly draw animals um, in my kind of unique style of lots of small black dots, um, and then I also offer um, custom commissions of people's pets, homes, and people. Cool, um, and um, and that's really I love it because I didn't really realise till your artwork that it was all done with dots. Um, yeah uh, it's quite it's quite extraordinary um i kind of well when I first look at it i think when you probably see it kind of on instagram or shopping you don't really see it and um you also did um of gilding's barn you did the the print of that didn't you as well? yeah yeah for the wedding the, shoot yeah, yeah so i do lots shoot. of kind of um like wedding venue custom commissions too which is really fun Exactly. And and obviously you do something obviously with your pom poms as well, don't you? Which is Yeah, um, yeah, I was gonna mention those. Yeah, so I have some yeah, pom -pom yeah, yeah, prints. No, cool. <laughs> cool. If you're gonna show some later, because I'm really excited. Um I say I haven't really seen your artwork in in kind of live, which was gonna yeah. be absolutely great. I'm really looking forward to that. So why did you set up your business and how did you come up with the um with your business name? Um so I set it up in May twenty twenty, so during the first lockdown. Um, yeah. I mainly did it to keep myself busy because um, just before lockdown, I had um, left my job in America where I'd been living for four years. Um, and in hindsight, it wasn't the best timing to not have a job when everyone was like not really recruiting. And um, so I mainly yeah. did it to keep busy. But then I just discovered that I really, really loved doing it um, and wanted to make it my main job. Um, and then the name just came because my surname, so I'm Catherine Bamba. So I literally just took my surname. And at the time I just sold prints. So I was like, perfect, there you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it, says, it says on the packet, but no, 
it's a really great one. I really love asking that question because, you know, there are some really kind of, you know, I'm quite looking forward to some of the names going, well, why did you choose that? You know, yeah. often it's with the prints, it's usually blah, 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 illustration or such and such jewellery, isn't it? So, um, but yeah, there are yeah. some names coming. So we'll, we'll uh, find out more about those. So, so whereabouts are you based? Um, and where is your sort of workspace? Where do you sort of, you know, design your your designs? Yeah, your, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it's not designs, is it? It's, uh, it's kind um, of like, I was thinking of the right word, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I am based in Whiteleaf, um, well, Kenley Whiteleaf in Surrey. Um, and my studio is currently in the spare room, but I've literally kind of spread out over the whole house, got boxes absolutely everywhere. Um, and I'm, but I'm currently set up for this live, like right next to the Wi Fi router. So <laughs> this isn't usually where I work, but yeah. <laughs> oh, excellent. I suppose, but you can grab your laptop and work anywhere as such, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Just... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes exactly. I work from bed, so that's a highlight. Yeah, that's always good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe we should do live, live from, live from your bed. That'd be a good yeah. one. So, <laughs> I was thinking as well about maybe some of the 10 at 10s we're doing, because I've done quite a few, and it'd be nice to maybe go back to some old, old, you know, the ones that we've done before. So we might have a 10 at 10, I don't know, we'll come up with some. Yeah, sort that'd of, be you good. Know. Yeah, because I think there's a lot of people who have kind of have got more confident that like to kind of, chat and talk about what they've been doing as well so i'll have to think yeah and you can see how their business has grown exactly exactly so have you um a favorite item to create and why have you chosen that so this is the pom-pom print <laughs> um yep. so i've got one here it's quite i've got quite a big one actually so i have to hold it up but yeah so these are my pom-pom prints so they're my um regular animal illustrations that then i stick on these handmade pom-poms just to give this kind of like fun unique 3d effect um and i've just launched another one actually which is this little bunny tail oh i love that so i love that little pom-pom but yeah <laughs> um so they're really fun it's really nice to have kind of been able to take those to markets because um they're quite tactile yeah. so people can properly see them but yeah, they're definitely my favourites. Yeah, they're really, really cute. And they're, they're really different. I mean, I have to admit, I'm a bit of a, I love a pom-pom, but that's just another story. So when I found you, I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, she puts pom-poms. I was a bit yeah. too excited, which was a bit <laughs> sad, really. But no, it's really good, because I think what you do as well is so different, isn't it? I, I haven't seen anyone else that sort of does that. And um, I think your appeal to the kids and um, us big adults as well. <laughs> I've yeah, my, yeah, it's definitely been nice seeing. I, it's, I, can't wait. I really, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. nice been seeing, especially the kids the, at markets. They usually walk past and point to them. Yes, and with the pom poms, do you do different colours for um, different animals? Or you just stick to a sort of colour as such. And um, so I have. I think about 10 different colors that I offer. So if you order online, okay. people can choose um, literally which uh, animal they want and which pom-pom they want. So yeah, there's lots of choice. Because people really like that, don't they? I mean, I, I think it's so lovely when um, we do these markets and you know, a lot of um, you know, customers, oh, do you do that in such a, yes, I can do that. And it's really quite yeah. nice, isn't it? They're, they're almost trying to kind of, you know, sort of try to, what's the word look for something you haven't got but yet you can do it you know you can yeah do yeah color or change the pom the pom poms as such so um Definitely. have you been working on anything new this year at all um anything? so i've been trying to um expand on my custom commissions so i basically yep. i started off just doing pets um, and then in the kind of last or well, since probably about Christmas, um, I've been offering more kind of options. So I've done quite a few houses that like people get their homes um, commissioned um, some front doors, which are quite cute because there you can add kind of a pop of color. Um, yep. And then I've been doing so like the wedding venues I started offering. Um, so that was the first one I did actually for the Gildings Barn which is really nice. Um, yeah. And yeah, so I'm trying to just expand on those. I've done a few kind of people, um, basically so that if anyone has, you know, a favourite picture or an idea, I can kind of offer that to them. Exactly. Yeah. I, and then, and as well, I mean, I was just talking earlier about the, the wedding, you know, and celebration event. And, you know, this is totally, totally brand new for us. But I, it was kind of 
you know, I think sort of, I've sort of said to everyone, you know, me as Dapper Suave, we've done the wedding fairs and, you know, they're good, but they're really hard work and it's very much like a trade show and probably, yeah. you know, night ceremony that's been there, you know, you, you sort of do them. So I wanted to kind of offer something that's a little bit more kind of um, interaction, interactive so that, you know, people can then, you know, buy from you as well as having the commissions. And I realised that... Yeah like the likes of you and Chris Miller and then started looking at jewellery and it all kind of comes together and it's not just this this event isn't just about weddings it's about a celebration yeah and, and like parties you know, and everything parties it could be somebody looking for something for a gift for somebody but then they think oh actually why don't I get my pet drawer you know and there's artists yeah. and different things like that so it's really um in a way I'm kind of getting you guys to really kind of think outside the box of how differently you can grab that customer to then, you know, get those bespoke commissions because that's what's yeah. going to happen from from those. But also, it happens from the events without it being a wedding and celebration event. So, yeah, um, you know, and, yeah, and like you said, you know, the, the the place cards, the the invites, all of that that you know can be so unique and so different as well. And you know, you send out the invite to the the save the date, then it's the invite, and then yeah, you follow there's so much through. to think about. Yeah, it, it follows it all through, doesn't it? It's like the journey that you yeah. go through. Even you sit there and, oh, look, it's the place card that was the save the day and move it. Yeah, and even so, like yeah. it can be used for wedding gifts and stuff like after the wedding. Yeah, wedding gifts, the favours. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I think as well, you know, I think probably with ourselves, and I think you understand that couples now getting married are looking for totally different things that they did back in the day. They want something that, they get to know the person behind it like yourself they go on the journey with you you get to know them um yeah, it's definitely. really it's really important yeah really important you know we, we had the day a guy um he getting married four years ago we met him and you know it was kind of like right tell us about you you know what, what's your what's your story what do you like you know because you know yeah. us guys when it comes to fashion and you know we've just made him a bespoke bow tie and it's with um oh, no. a software design you know um rob will tell what it is i've totally got what it is <laughs> but you know just finding out uh what it is circuit circuit board with all the colors oh, cool. which is gonna look look fantastic but yeah that was just something that you know is so bespoke as such so yeah um so we have an ethos as i kind of bang on about it i need to get a <laughs> t-shirt um about being friendly creative and unique um have you got a kind of an ethos or something that you kind of work with yeah uh yeah so i try and be as environmentally friendly as possible um with my yeah. business and um, so all of the card i use for my prints greetings cards everything is um, made it's 100 percent recycled paper um i try all of my packaging is completely plastic free so i use like compostable cello bags for my prints and cards um and basically yeah i just want my I want to make like high quality products that will last and I don't want my business to cause like any more damage to the planet. So I try and keep that in mind, like when I'm trying to think of new products and when I'm ordering new stock all the time. Yeah, it's, it's one of those which um, talking to lots of new businesses, that's one of their, the main things they talk about, which I think is yeah. really great. It's sustainability and even, you know, kind of I've started to really look differently of the way, you know, of just, little bits i can do to save the environment and uh yeah. as you'll know eco b that's in dorking now you know i take and i feel with my shampoo and conditioner and things like that oh, you yeah. know and yeah and yeah it's definitely got... more kind of accessible now lots of people are thinking yeah. about it when they're shopping and it just kind of timed right with when i started my business like i was thinking about it more personally so it just kind of made sense to think about it for my business as well yeah, definitely. And I think there's a lot of it. And, it, you know, there's um, an event that we were doing later in the year as Dapper Suave and on it, it's, it's got no like plastic things, you know, and it just drives you. It drives you. But I, also, I think you know, that children are changing their kind of way. Yeah. I think they're actually teaching the adults a bit more. And I love it yeah, when definitely. they come along to the Yeah, they come along to the events and they they have their pocket money, but they're, they're kind of a bit more wiser about how they spend it, which you see, which is great, because you don't want them, you know, having something that's just throw away or whatever. You want something that they know how it's been made. And, you know, a lot of them are really kind of, you know, flabbergasted when they meet the likes of you and you talk about your dots, you know, the dot drawing, which, yeah. you know, the pom pom, um, which is really great. So um, what are your sort of, I think this was a question I kind of asked because 
And I don't think I want to change it, but I think it was back in the days when we were in lockdown and it was about, you know, what are your goals and dreams? And I, I still believe that, you know, that's a question to still ask because I think we've all got our dreams and goals in life. So, yeah, what are your goals and dreams? Well, a goal I had for this year is to was to do more markets because um, I started during lockdown, like everything was online and there just obviously weren't any markets open. Um, so that was, I said to myself last year, like I really want to do more in-person markets just to meet, you know, other small businesses, to get out kind of in the local area and um, to meet people. So you guys are helping me with that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, my dream is to just keep growing Bamba Prints really. Um, Cause at the moment I do it alongside some like freelance graphic design work. Um, and I'd love for it to just be my main main job that's the dream <laughs> yeah and and there's so many people like yourself who are you know their dream sort of job of doing you know what they make and love and and you know actually mm. making sort of money from it and and it's really lovely I kind of look at what I'm doing now and this is now you know my full-time job and I I love it you know I love being yeah. all you new businesses and you know having to help promote you guys and you know and holding some sometimes holding your hand of you know there we go and then you know doing it and and I love I love the journey that a lot of people have been on and seeing the growth and the kind of the kind of um you know people the way they've got a bit more confident because it is yeah. you know when you're at markets it can be quite sort of scary but that's yeah it definitely takes well. getting used to yeah yeah it does you know and also I think you know Dorking Halls we do have some really great customers each time it, it changes and there's lots more new people coming along and people that have actually been there right from day one who are still our customers like the other day there was yeah. somebody and she when are your events next you know I get, and you know they <laughs> usually come to all of them which is, which is really lovely and and also I'm excited to actually with them is you know them coming in the door and wow there's a lot more different things here um and I, I don't want our event to be the same you know I know that yeah. there are those markets out there who have each month the same people they're in the same spot for me that's not what we're about I wanted you to walk in that room and go wow you know it's yeah because totally you different. want a different experience yeah. for the customers each yeah. time don't you exactly and I, and I think it's going to other markets and, and things and you know just realizing kind of what they're doing and sort of going well actually no we don't want to do that we don't want to charge money for people to come in that was a really something that we thought about and you know and obviously the only time that we are paying is for our big Christmas market but that money yeah is going to be designated to a charity and also I need to get on board as well because we do a lot of stuff with charities and things as well so probably for the May if there's just something we can raise a little bit of money for each event then you know we're doing uh, you know something that we yeah, that's, done. that's a really so, nice idea yeah so if there are any I think I've got uh, an eye on a, a couple actually because we, we've done loads like the food bank and and you know RSPCA and or Briggy Trust and the rework it so yeah lots of yeah. lots of, sort of things like that that we do so um who would you say is your support network um so I'd say mainly my family like my sister has been a really big support she kind of has come to me with some of the to some of the markets that I've done already and is always kind of there if I want to rant about something or <laughs> have a little moan which we all need <laughs> um yeah. and and then just I think just from Instagram like I it's just nice to talk to other small businesses and I feel like I've kind of built up a little community on there where you can I can like message a few people that I know now yeah. and it's just nice because they obviously know exactly what you're going through um yeah. and that's been the nice thing about markets as well you meet other small businesses and you can kind of have a chat about what it's been like and stuff so yeah, that's a, yeah. Like other small businesses is probably such a huge support. Definitely, definitely. And, um, you know, one thing that was really lovely that you're part of is um, a Dorking Halls in, in the cafe, oh, yeah. um, the cafe bar area. Back in September, we were asked to put some artwork. So we change it each time. And obviously, um, last time before you were there, um, and we had you and there were about another about another eight kind of artists there and it was so lovely because none of yeah. you had met before or, or you'd met in sort of in circumstances or other but you all just gelled and clicked and I was just, I was really proud of that because it was like wow and you know and bouncing ideas on each other and as the artwork was going up on the um onto the walls everyone was really praising each other and really excited and 
that was really there was no kind of oh well look at her well like it was really supportive which um you know i'm really i i want that at our events i want people to you know help other people and um yeah you know, yeah that was a really it, nice morning everyone it was just it was nice really kind good. of chatting yeah. and doing something a bit different exactly and like say for anyone that doesn't know in Dorking Halls there are 15 artworks there so there's a QR code next to it so if you like the artwork you can then you know scan the QR code and then contact that person to um, buy obviously the product there um, you know usually you can go onto their website and other things they've got and we'll be changing that again um beginning in may ready so all of the people doing the may event will all have their artwork and then it will change again um each month as such so yeah um, and there's yeah, really nice is, artwork yeah lots of yeah. different things and, and it's been really good because um you know a lot of people have got sales from it um now that you know we're allowed to get out and, and do you know do events and bits as, as well because dorking halls Believe it or not, the you know the big grand hall that you're in, you know when it's not empty, they pull all the chairs and it's a you know a big massive proper cinema and stage show. So um, yeah, yeah, it's you know, a lovely venue. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's a lovely venue, and also when you've got people coming along and in the um, the cafe, it's like you know they see that, and so yeah, so hopefully lots of sales. Um, yeah. The thing is, I, I can't tell from it because it goes straight to your. Um, you know, straight to your website. So I don't know, but I know that some people have also... Yeah, I've definitely had a couple of sales from it because I can kind of... Um, that I've got the kind of giraffe... I've got a giraffe print up there um, and I've had a few sales, but obviously you can't tell. But I some of... I think someone lived near Dorking that I was posting yes. it to. So I thought, well, that must be from... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, and it, that's a really good way. And, you know, we're, we're, we're sort of carrying on that as well. So we'll go throughout the year and, and next year as well. And, uh, yeah, just changing it around. So um, next question. Um, hopefully you know all this. So what events mm -hmm. are you doing with Curated by Dapper and Suave? Um, so the first one I'm doing is the one in May. So May 15th. Yep. So that's coming up. Um, yep. So I'm excited Long. for that one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, and then I'm doing the one in July. Um, which is all focused around weddings. Um, and then I'm also doing September and October. So wow. I'm doing quite nice a few. And busy. Yeah, yeah, nice and busy. yeah, you know, which is great. And as we, you know, say at the moment, um, you know, lip seal, but there, we are working with another new, which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. And th this won't be probably till um, later in the year. Um, the, the, the actual venue, I'm going to talk to them just after Easter and then, um, We'll be looking to to get that up and running, which will be it'll probably be over a few days as well because it's the kind of the venue that we'll be able to do it. So um, I'll oh, be nice. calling on you definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. it's very kind of local as well, and it's a really really sort of great uh, venue, which is lovely. And um, yeah, and 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 what's lovely as well is with you doing the first May one. You know, it's learning for the customers, learning what they want. It really it's really nice to find out what the customers like about your um your artwork isn't it yeah definitely i'm really looking forward yeah. to it it'll be nice yeah. to do a new venue and see see how it goes yeah exactly exactly i say I, i'm quite excited about the july one as well because that's going to yeah. be totally different and we're really going to kind of do something different with that one which is great and then obviously the the two day one we've got so um the last question i ask is um why did you choose to work with um work with us um, so you guys came highly recommended um, from my friends um, Dan and James who own yep. Coffee Flamingo yep, um, yeah yeah I, I, I watched their chat they did with you a while ago um, yeah. but yeah so they had done some markets with you before and when I mentioned to them that I was looking to do more local markets they told me about you guys um, and then just as soon as I applied it just felt so different to other markets I've been involved with um, like just having a chat with you when I signed up was really nice it just felt a bit more like a community and that there was yeah. support there um and I mean I haven't even done a market yet but I've already been involved I feel like in lots of things you guys have organized so yeah it just feels like you offer more than like just the market day you offer kind of yeah. more support Thank yeah which you. is yeah. really really nice I think that you know I think because of our retail background and knowing that we've done events and things like that uh, it's really, really important, you know, and each event we learn from it, we learn, you know, with the people as well. So, um, you know, really, and I say with, um, you know, James and Dan, you know, they're just an absolute delight because they remind of me and Rob, but about 20 years younger, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, and, and they're just lovely. And we've watched how they, they you know, they, they actually 
their business. And for anyone who doesn't know, Coffee Flamingo now is at the back of the barn at Solo. Please go along. It's the best coffee. It's absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, and um, we're yeah, it's in Rygate. We went down last week. Rygate. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah it's, it's lovely, isn't it? And um, yeah, and I think as well, I, I, I have been talking, but I think that there might be a collaboration with maybe yourself with some flamingos. That's all I'm oh, yeah. saying. Yeah, <laughs> I've always, I there is one really... of my prints up in the coffee shop, yes. if you can spot it when you go in. <laughs> yes, I've seen it. I think we need some more. I was talking of a sort of coffee and gift idea with your flamingo. So there we go. So just yeah. another way of collaborating. <laughs> um, you know, and, and that's, you know, watching them and kind of, it was really lovely the day because they sort of said they, you know, learning so much from us. And, you know, it's great to see what they're doing. We're catching up... Uh, for dinner um, next month, actually, which oh, would be nice. really lovely. Yeah, and we've got some really great ideas with with the actual barn at Solo that we're going to um, oh. do some little kind of pop up events and things like oh, that. Oh, that'd be lovely because uh, they have such yeah. a lovely kind of outdoor space. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. We, we had the market there last year. We had the intimate Christmas market, so we're just kind of looking at different ways. Reason being, um, we were very lucky. It was December mm -hmm. and. No, it's end of November, and the, the weather was great. But we also know that with the uh, British weather, so we're just looking at something a little bit different where we can do some things inside, but then outside as well. So it might not be necessarily a market, but a bit more interaction, yeah. other things going on. So yeah, which is um, which is really good. They they were quite excited the day when we just thought, oh, we could do this, we could do that. So uh, yeah, and it's so just many bringing, ideas. Yeah, exactly. And it's bringing you know as well. It's it's, it's like workshops. The the kind of area they've got the you know that they've got a license there so we can have some dreams yes, and we can you know do. make some things and things like that which is just getting people together and I know as well that um you know families or guys together to to make things is um you know something that we're all kind of I think we're all up for doing as well isn't it yeah especially so, after um, the last few years <laughs> Exactly, yeah, and just doing things again, isn't mm. it? Which is great. So we've been able to. So um, really, really good to talk to you. Really looking forward to um, seeing you and your your Bamba prints um, in yeah. uh, May the 15th. Um, as I say, this live now will go on to um, social media. We'll share it on LinkedIn. It will go on to our YouTube channel as well. So um, mm. I know that a lot of people watch it later. Um, and then obviously the link, you can have a look at, um, you know, your prints. And if you're in Dorking Holes in the, before the event, you can see um, see the, the prints in, in the real the real world as such. Isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> I think cause we, a lot of us, isn't it? It's a lot of you know we're all chatting away on instagram it's just so nice when you all kind of get together properly so um, yeah definitely fantastic yeah there we go s j fluff was saying see you in may and um, oh, no. uh finborn fabric she said that she's part of your um your network group so she's joining oh yes us. yes she is definitely yeah yes yeah she's joining us um later in the year which is lovely so um oh, nice. i'll be talking yeah i'll be getting her on board to do uh, <laughs> yeah definitely well. so, um, yeah lo lots of them come in lots of them come in Fantastic. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. Um, and um, Thank we'll you, you too. Soon. This was such All a lovely right. chat. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.